How much can plyometrics increase your vertical? What is the secret source in order to increase your vertical via plyometrics? And how much of an increase can you expect? And as you know me, I will not give you a one-size-fits-all answer. How much can plyometrics increase your vertical? As usual, the answer is, it depends. It depends on a lot of things. One thing is the time invested in training. So, I've spoken about that before, there's no shortcut. So, the time you invest in training and the results you see, there is a relation. And especially with trainings that target the neuromuscular system, we need a bit more time to see benefits. So, Again, difficult for me to give a number, but we should be looking at 10 to 12 weeks rather than three to four weeks. Another thing that is important for plyometrics is the strength levels. Well, you might have seen in the literature that people recommend you should be doing in a back squat two times your body weight in order to start plyometrics. I think that's not a right information. You can start plyometrics much earlier. But there is a relationship between strength levels and your ability to do plyometrics and to benefit from, pli from, from plyometrics. Excuse me for the spelling mistake. There are always exceptions to the rules. I've seen that firsthand. Some athletes that are not very strong but have great to exceptional jumping ability. So let's not focus on the exceptions. Let's focus on what is important for the majority of athletes. Another thing for plyometrics is the so-called muscle fiber type spectrum. That means within our muscle, we have different muscle fiber types, ranging from slow twitch muscle fibers that are more meant towards endurance efforts, and fast twitch muscle fibers that are more geared for, towards explosive actions. So, and this is something that's very difficult to change and anyone has, everyone has a certain muscle fiber type spectrum. So the ones that have more fast twitch fibers have the benefit of also benefiting more, two times benefit, excuse me for that, the ones that have more fast twitch fibers also react more positively to plyometrics. And then, as with every training, we have so-called responders versus non-responders. So, people that respond to training and people that do not respond to training. To be really honest, I have not encountered a non-responder that has not responded to any training. So, if you see one training doesn't work, you need to look a little bit deeper into it. What is the problem? and then make changes, whether it needs to be changes in intensity, changes in volume. Again, it needs to be looked at a little bit more precisely in order to make the adjustments. Coming back to the question, how much will plyometric training increase the vertical? In my experience, and I cannot give you a number in inches or centimeters, nor can I give you a number in percent. It depends very much on the athlete and on the variables I've discussed above. In my experience, a proper training focused on strength training, plyometric training, will increase your vertical. Also for sports that involve a lot of jumping in the sport itself, the aspect of recovery becomes really important. Recovery is important in any training, but if we're looking at increasing your vertical in a sport where you're jumping already many times in a week, the recovery becomes extremely important. Also, how you structure your training, because if you're jumping in your normal sport training a lot, you really need to make sure that what you're doing in the other training has a benefit. So looking at the right amount of intensity, right amount of sets and reps. As a recap, how much can you expect from plyometric training that increases your vertical? It depends. It depends on the time invested in training. It depends on the muscle fiber type spectrum. It also depends on your strength levels and whether you're a responder or non-responder. 
On the other side, in my experience, as I mentioned, a proper training based around strength training and plyometric training will increase your vertical if you take enough recovery time in between the sessions and also balance the jumping in your strength and plyometric training with the jumping in your sport-specific training.